Hello guys and welcome to my Legend Fabio Cannavale review. I don't know if this is a one-off video I'll be doing or whether I'll be making more videos this year. I haven't made one for a few months but he's one of my favourite players of all time and I had him in my club and there's no other reviews on him on YouTube so I was like, oh, I've got to make a YouTube video on him now so I did and this is it and I don't know if I'll be making any more. Uh, We'll see. I don't know yet, to be honest. But uh, he cost me 1.6 million. He's going to go down in price inevitably. He's already gone down in price. All the legends are crashing in uh, crashing in price. He's got 74 pace, 89 defending, and 90 heading on his card stats. And he definitely feels like a very good player, guys. I, I've really, really enjoyed him. Here's a little thing I found that you might know of as well. But a uh, nice little biography of him. Fabio Cannavaro. Widely regarded as being one of the greatest defenders of his generation, which is definitely true. Career highlight came in 2006 as he famously captained his country to World Cup glory. And uh, he won Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year in 2006, which is incredible for a defender. don't know if he's the only one to win it or the first one in the last 20 years to win it. And uh, he went on to become Italy's most capped player with 136 appearances. He's one of my favourite players after Pizzini and Luca Toni. I had to review him, guys. So uh, I was really, really impressed with him. Move on into his in-game stats. Main ones you're going to be looking at are, of course, his defending. Don't worry about passing and you know dribbling and shooting, whatever. He's got 91 head in accuracy, 96 marking, 86 slide tackle, 96 stand tackle. The perfect work rate for a defender, being low attacking work rate and high defensive. He's only 5 foot 9, but he's got brilliant uh, physical attributes, which include 94 jumping and 87 strength with 92 reactions, 82 agility and 83 balance along with that 78 sprint speed. Got low aggressions, but got really really good interceptions which are 91. That's the first thing we're going to be talking about is his interceptions. He's an incredibly intelligent player. You can definitely notice that this card is a step up uh, in terms of other cards. You know, you can really tell this is a legend card because he's so intelligent. He reads play really really well to intercept the ball. Obviously he's got 91 interceptions. You see here he spots the run he has the ability to make a pass and this actually leads to a goal and he did that loads of times, you know, countless times he actually intercepted the ball, was able to start the counter attack and this time that actually did lead to a goal and that's something really, really good for your team, nullifying the opponent's attack and then turn it into your own attack. And another good thing about him was his 78 pace, which is pretty fast, helps him marshal the defence, get to those through balls and over the top balls. You know, we did get outpaced a couple of times by the likes of Sturridge, but you know, you know, players with 90 pace are going to outpace the majority of centre backs in 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 some circumstances. Moving on to his heading, he's only five foot nines, but don't be scared. He got really good jumping stats and really good heading accuracy stats. His heading was really really good. You know, people were going to be put off by his five foot nine height, but honestly, guys, his heading is amazing. You know, he's just out jumping like Mandzukic and uh, Ben Teke and Sturridge who are you know quite OP at heading and uh, yeah another amazing thing about him was his heading at goal kicks uh, you know crosses only thing uh, was that he didn't really seem to attack corners a lot you know you got to get some players like David Luiz, Company and Fellaini that did attack corners and score some goals but he didn't really seem to do that for me but uh, anyway moving on to his tackling which was awesome like anything that got near him uh, he, he just he just like locked onto it and he just came in with a with a foot and got it away you know his slide tackling and his stand tackling executed to perfection i honestly actually don't think he gave away a single free kick or had a single yellow card which is amazing uh for the amount of games i play with him and you know for for a defender and his strength really does help out uh especially in his stand tackling he's got high 80 strength which is which is obviously really good. There's a brilliant block there, and the keeper really could have caught that to be honest. But um, again, amazing, amazing. This is a quality tackle there, and uh, yeah, that's all I can say about his tackling. Amazing. So you know he's got good heading, he got good pace. And actually, another thing that's good about him is his good agility and balance, which is quite rare to find with a defender. But it just makes playing with him a lot easier. And uh, uh you know, he, he does have good balance when he goes in for those slide tackles and. It's just another good thing about him, really. And I saved the best clip till last, which just typifies his, his defending altogether. Looks like the opponent's going to score. Bang. Great tackle. Clears the ball away. Out of danger. Job done. So his pros are his good pace, superb tackling, great heading, good passing, 
really intelligent player in terms of his interceptions and you know knowledge of the game, region of the game. He knows where the danger is. He sniffs it out, and he's got good strength. Olin Connors is priced, but that comes with like pretty much all the legends. But I I I'd, I'd pay the money for him because I love him and he's a great player in game. And um, yeah, de probably the best defender I've used in any FIFA. And I give him a 10 out of 10 rating for that reason. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I think it's the only one up on YouTube. And um, yeah, uh, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. I don't even know if I'm going to make another YouTube video. I might, <laughs> you know, who who knows. But um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, goodbye.